Hello and welcome to Preaching 4.0 GPA Tutorials. It's all about economics. Today we are going to dive deep into a question on consumer behavior. When we talk of consumer behavior, it's about utility. And that is satisfaction that we derive as we consume goods and services. So with the satisfaction also that we want to derive, we are constrained by our income and then the prices of the goods we want to buy. Therefore, we make rational decisions in order to maximize our income. Satisfaction. So we have a question which is the table give Frank's utility from her consumption of popcorn and candy. So we have bags of popcorn here, the quantities, and then candy bars as well. We also have uh, total utility. Total utility is the total satisfaction. And then we have the marginal utility, which is about the additional satisfaction that she derives as she consumes more and more of the commodity. So let's go deep into the question. The first one says that find the marginal utilities for consuming successive units of popcorn and candy. Now the formula for the marginal utility is change in total utility over change in quantity. So if you want the MU subscript to one, which is the marginal utility for the first one, it's going to be total utility for that first one minus total utility of the previous one over the change in quantity which is the Q1 minus Q0 and also our total utility is the summation of the marginal utilities and if you want the total utility for the first one it's going to be the summation of the marginal utility up to that column or you just take the marginal utility from that particular row and add it to the previous total utility let's use the table to get understanding so in getting our to marginal utility for this first consumption is going to be 20 minus 0 over 1 minus 0 and this will give us 20 the same applies to all of them here for us to get all the column for the marginal utility the same with the utility here also is this previous one is 50 plus the 12 giving us 62 you can do same here too 20 plus 16 to see 36 20 plus 16 plus 14 will give you 50 and sum so as you are summing to that that cell it will give you the total utility as you take to it the same applies to the candy bars here the same thing we did to drive the marginal utility for the candy bar now the next question says that suppose the price of a bag of popcorn is one cd and the price of candy bar is 50 pesos find Frank's marginal utility per CD for popcorn and candy so also this is just what marginal utility over price and it's all the same marginal utility per CD for popcorn and candy so you find her marginal utility as we've done and then you divide it by the associated prices for the price of popcorn it was one CD so dividing the marginal utility over one you will get the same thing for the marginal utility per price but for candy bars it was 50 pesos so dividing 14 by 0 0.5 we're going to get 28 dividing 12 by 0 0.5 we're going to get 24 so we did this and filled all the columns for it now the next question says that Frank's weekly allowance is 4 cities if she spends her entire allowance on popcorn and candy how much popcorn and how, ma how many candy bars will Frank consume each week Okay, so with this, we need the equilibrium condition of the consumer in consuming two goods, which is what popcorn and candy. Now, in consuming one good, the equilibrium condition is that the marginal utility of that good should be equal to the associated price. That is the, just one commodity. Now, in consuming two or more commodities, the equilibrium condition for the consumer is marginal utility of the good, which is say X, over the price of X. Should be equal to marginal equity of say good y over the price of good y should be equal to all their respective all the other goods that you are consuming to the n one which will be mu of n over price of n in our question we are so this is also what we call the marginal principle which is what the utility maximizing principle of marginal analysis if you have a question we have marginal utility of popcorn by the price of popcorn we should be equal to the marginal utility of candy bars over the price of candy but we are dealing with just two goods so this will be our marginal principle now this is the table 
So we are going to locate where our marginal utility per the price of popcorn being the same as marginal utility per the price of candies. So we have this side being the same 20 and the associated quantity is for, for popcorn is 1 and then for candy the associated quantity is 3. This is not the only equilibrium condition, there are others also. We have 16, we have 14, and then we have 12 as well. So we are going to locate the basket for all this. So we can have our basket, which is what quantity of popcorn and then quantity of what candies. So we have the first basket being basket A being one bag of popcorn and three candy bars. So this is it. We have basket B also, which is two. And for because of all this being the equilibrium conditions, so all these four, we are going to have four different baskets that she can buy per week. So we have two we have the three and five which is three popcorns and then five candy bars we have basket d which comprises four bags of popcorn and six candy bars so these are the baskets that she can go now the question is saying that which of them will she consume in a week per the preamble which i said that utility deals with uh, our income and then prices we are going to use the income that she said which is four cities and then the price associated all this the, with the goods in order to know which one that she can afford and which one she will buy so we need a budget line budget line is what we have here the price of popcorn times the quantity of popcorn that she can buy plus the price of candy times the quantity all this should be less than or equal to your income you cannot buy more than your income can, can afford so this is how her budget line will be 1 times QP plus 0 0.5 times QC should be equal to 4. This is because the question also asks that if she spends her entire allowance with this income on popcorn and candy, so we are equating it to what? 4. Okay, so now let's fix in the baskets to see which one will equate will be equal to 4. That is the one that she can afford. Okay, so in putting in basket A, we have 1 times 1 plus 0 0.5 times 3. This is equal to 2.5 so it means that this one also she can buy but it's less than a uh, income but this is not what she will consume so this is then the question is saying that that's the one that consumes her entire allowance okay we have also basket b we can say basket b go to her entire allowance which is four one times the quantity two plus 0 0.5 times the quantity as we is this four this equals four let's find out for basket c and basket d basket c and d they are even more than the income so she cannot afford these two baskets so we can conclude that franca will consume two bags of popcorn and four candy bars this answers this question and the next question says that in part c what is franca's total utility okay so per our table we know that she consumes two bags of popcorn and four candy bars we just trace their respective total utility and then we sum them so their total utility also we have 36 and then 44 we just sum this total utility for us to get our utils so we have 36 plus 44 being equal to 80 utils now the unit of measurement for utility is utils okay, so 80 utils now he says that now suppose that franca consumes three bags of popcorn and two candy bars explain why she's not maximizing her utility okay so this is the table she's consuming three bags and then two okay first let's see the first condition that, that can she afford it pay the income that she's having that's the first condition and the second condition would be that will the total utility related to it be greater than the first consumption that we had from the marginal principle so this is the budget line fixing the quantities we can say this also equal to four meaning she can afford it the income can buy it now we go to the total it is to see whether it will be greater less or equal to the previous one now in treating their utility their total it is can see that this is 26 and then 50 so 50 plus 26 equals 76 utils which is less than the 80 utils that she's having so we can this explains why she's not maximizing her utility if she's consuming three bags of popcorn and two candy bars.
pass. So another preamble here says that suppose that the price of a candy bar doubles to one. The price of a bag of popcorn, however, does not change. It remains equal to one per bag. F says that construct a new table of the marginal utility per city for popcorn and candy bars. Now we know that only candy bars will change because price of popcorn remains the same. So marginal utility per price of candy is what we have. It's also one. So since the price has changed to one, it will be the same as marginal utility per two. It will be the marginal utility divided by one. That will be the same quantity, the same utility. So G says that Franker's allowance continues to be four cities after the price change how much popcorn and how much candy bars will she consume each week so we also go back to our marginal principle to see the baskets that she can have so with this also we have 14 here mu over p equals mu over p they are the same that's like marginal principle it's only 14 we have 12 10 and then 8 so we have to allocate the basket associated to it the first one we're going to have three against one. So these are the baskets associated to it. Four and two, five and three, and then six and four. And we are going to test it with the budget line. So the budget constraint also. This is either budget constraint or budget line we see. So in using basket A, we can see that using she consuming three three bags of popcorn and one candy bar will equate her income let's test that of basket b oh it's greater than the income she can't afford it uh, basket c and basket d all these are greater than her income so she can afford basket a which is three bags of popcorn and one candy bar franca will consume three bags of popcorn and one candy bar the next question says that uh popcorn and candy bars substitute or complements for franca now we know that substitute goods you can use one in place of the other and complements they are jointly used they are used together so let's see are they substitute or complement now we can see that at the first price which was one cd for popcorn and 50 pesos for candy bars she consumed two bags of popcorn and four candy bars when price of candy increased so that each of them were one cd we can see that she consumed three bags of popcorn and one candy bar that is she reduced the consumption of candy bars from four to one and increased the consumption of popcorn from two to three she has substituted the consumption of candy for popcorn so we can see that the two goods are substitutes though they are not perfect substitutes so they are substitutes because a rise in the price of a candy bar leads to an increase in the demand for popcorn okay so i says that based on information we have obtained we are to draw the demand curve for candy bars now in drawing a demand curve you need your horizontal and vertical axis here our vertical axis is the price and then a the quantity axis is for the horizontal line so we have our origin being zero now we, we have the change in price for candy bars gives us two points when price was one cd when price was 50 pesos she consumed four so we can plot this point now in, plot, in, in drawing a line just need two points or the equation of a line we can use these two points that we derive from the question to form an equation and then sketch it we can also just plot the two points as it is so four quantity against the price of 50 pesos and we have another one also which was one cd for candy and then she consuming one we can also plot this point here which is one one we just draw a line through and this gives us our demand curve. So you can see that this is the demand curve for candy bars. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to also share. Also, as you are watching, write it. You can post it and then you take notes so that it doesn't become a video or a movie you are watching so that you can understand it well. Thank you for all our, our viewers and all our subscribers. We'll bring you more details.